Hello everybody, welcome to Aero BB week 9. We've got King Boo with his rats with a natty up against Danton with his very nice... Well, it's not very nice actually. Uh, but it's decent. It's a decent necromantic team. And, you know, necromantic teams, they're pretty nice against Skaven because they've got the fast wolves to hunt down the fast gutters. So they've kind of got a trump card, but obviously they don't have tackle on the wolves, but he does have tackle on a ghoul. He's got tackle on this white. Um, and you know, they're, the zombies are good enough to hold up line rats. And then the little bit of strength that they've got from the fleshies is enough to outstrength the rats. So they're, they're basically the perfect counter team for rats. Um, but we shall see. We shall see what happens. There is there is a lack of mighty blow, that's true. Oh, he's just going to go for the one turn, isn't he? <laughs> he's just going to go straight for the one turn. Yeah, there's two whites. Oh, and there's, oh yeah, the ghoul. Yeah, there's one ghoul. Only one ghoul instead of two. I don't know if the other one's missed next game. Um, or what? What are the inducements? It's a bribe for Danton. Sorry, deep root with me, sure. Yep. Whoa. Muppet the Streaker. I mean... <laughs> no, no offence, Muppet, but I've, I've seen better streakers, but yeah. <laughs> Given the main purpose of a streaker, I'll, I'll be honest, I've seen better. But, you know, thanks. <laughs> Enjoy your points. And he just scores. So there you go. Gets his tuddy. No need to do an offensive drive. Just score on your natty. And, uh... You know, Danton can, uh... Just spend the whole half kicking the shit out of King Boo's team here. Even up at 1-1. And then see what it looks like in the second half. Click, rat, click, end zone. Yeah, it's... Oh, wait, wait. What do we need? There you go. <laughs> Wise words from Jay Leave there. <laughs> Imagine being so fucking obsessed with rats that you're about to go on holiday and you and like you can't even fucking qualify with the team. Uh, you just decide to play more fucking rats. What the fuck? Why the fuck would anyone play that much fucking rats? Jesus Christ. Yeah. I mean, wise words from from wise wise words from Jay Leave. We saw there how that wasn't just there. Uh, it's as simple as click rap, click ends on. <laughs> yeah, I think I think the rats will just try uh, the rats. The necro will just try and beat them up as much as possible, right? He's got a bribe. He's got some tackle. He's got some frenzy. Probably just try and bang on rats. All half, and then see what happens in the second half. Like they've got some, they've got some tools on defense here, like horns, rackle, strip. Obviously, the strip no good versus the sure hands. Gowl, uh, big hand, two heads, edge five. Oh, he's failed to pick up. The edge five can just uh, <laughs> can roll all of the dice and get the ball and pass it to a different rat. Oh, or the or the big hand could maybe, but it's a bit hard to get around, isn't it? So this 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 edge five can go one two three four five six seven eight nine, and then lob it to a gutter. I think that's not even ridiculous. Like as as ridiculous as that is, <laughs> as ridiculous as that is, it's not even ridiculous to do. He hasn't even gone for it. 
Lame. Oh, the two heads. But he's gone this way, which is really hard when he could have just gone all the way around, right? I didn't like going that way. Well, he, he blocked his... Maybe he was already there, but whatever. He could have gone all the way around. Didn't. Good old friend, BB2. Yep. Hello. <laughs> it's amazing. Here. Guess the pick up here. And there's a good uh, ready to foul. And he's got a bribe. That's pretty nice, isn't it? That's a pretty nice thing to have next to the uh, next to the cage. And he's offered up a uh, sacrificial gutter runner. Mighty blow wouldn't have made a difference. Does nothing, but the bribe works. And it's a very hard cage dive, isn't it? And it's not really worth uphilling without wrestle or anything. Do you know what, one of the things that I don't like about Blood Bowl 3, Blood Bowl 2 even, is it's never the guy with tackle that tackles you. <laughs> just never. Just literally never the guy with tackle. If if you're marked by a guy with tackle and another guy, it'll be the guy without tackle that fucking tackles you. Like, it's so stupid and annoying. My immersion. Uh, some good mighty blow going on here, isn't he? He's got a, a removal there. Right? Dog Blitz. Doesn't have the players to defend now, really, does he? With the threat of the frenzy. It's got to be the best, like. Necro have got to be one of the best matchups against Skaven. Pretty, rock hard today. pretty hard. And I so guess my I guess my, my Dark Elves were the same, right? If only I had uh, if only I had chosen to score. <laughs> if only I'd chosen to score touchdowns. What an idiot. Now oh, that was his dirty play. I thought you should have had a dirty play. It was Necro, but it was miles away. Pretty rough, isn't it? This this is a pretty rough turn four already. Can't defend, and not even down that many players, like or any, and they can't defend. What the hell? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They've got a full team, and they're just not defending. That's pretty. That's pretty shit, isn't it? Looks to be a rat right now. They're actually men up. And like basically too terrified to try and defend. <laughs> Wish I had been. <laughs> Wish I had been too terrified to defend. Is he just gonna score? Is he just gonna score? Because like you can't you can't keep the ball on him. 
I guess this is a score, right? This has to be a score. Interesting. Just gonna hope that uh, the King Boo goes from the one turn. That's this is not what I would do. Is this collusion? <laughs> is this <laughs> is this collusion here? <gasps> wow. Like I guess he's just hoping that King Boo scores another one turn, but like. A four-turn drive is pretty easy to do, isn't it? He, sh he should try and play a four-turn drive here and go in the half two one up. That's pretty weird. Pretty weird early score. Like, I guess it's good if he fails the one turn. So he's just going for the one turn. Which I guess makes... Oh my god. Now he's not going for the one turn. Surely, surely not going for the one turn now. Oh god, it looks like he is. Do not like this at all. <laughs> just quietly... Obviously, like the uh, like the rest of the one. I guess maybe he'll just go back and screen. But the problem is, wolves are really fast, isn't it? <laughs> no, he's not going for it. Okay, but. <laughs> Was ist das? Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, so yeah, great decision from Danton to score early here. Just literally fucking brilliant decision. Because the counter to uh this from King Boo is to just run down and get two dice with tackle. Interesting. Who can say if it's good or bad? I feel the one in nine, of course, but. And he does! Ah! He does one in nine the dodge. Absolutely diced. There you go. Just hope for a one in nine. Just rely on the old 11%. <laughs> Brilliant play from King Boo. Knew that. Knew that was coming. <laughs> Let me. Uh, probably, yeah. Probably. Defending order. the ball is super easy. <laughs> you got classic bit of space. Probably wants to like do some safe moves first now, rather than that hit. Just, you know, get like the, the fleshy back and stuff. And get white, the white, the ghoul over. Some safe, safe moves first. Might have freed him up actually. I think I would have freed up that guy getting another tackler because you really do want to uh, pressure the stall, don't you? Oh, Boris Johnson, good. 
Fuck that guy. <laughs> oh, he's going for the ball hit. He's going for the ball hit. Wow, this is ballsy. And he obviously can't re-roll twice because it's not Blood Bowl 3. Blood Bowl 3, you could have re-rolled that as well and got the hit. Now we've got a big run around. And the Tuddy goes in. A has been. All done is a has been. Reduced to Mr. Page level chat. Yeah, rats scored. I mean, it looked like they weren't when they just fucking ran out and got 2 d by tackle. But, um, yep. So Danton's got a two turn to make it a Desmond. Will he try? I mean, he's got to try. But with a, with a blizzard makes it a bit worse, but he's got the things. Yeah, sorry, sorry, Odd. I did the same at Dimmy earlier. I was mean. I was mean to Dimmy. It was, it was a bit sad. It was a bit sad that I was mean to him. <laughs> but you know, it was kind of funny. It was kind, kind of funny. His guy will be saying, "We do not let this slip." Do you go for the air? Uh, no, it's a 5 plus, isn't it? Maybe if you had uh, an Edge 4 Wolf, you could go for the 75% dodge in the serve. Like, maybe. I don't know that it would 100% be wrong. P. Diddy. about this. But yeah, definitely obviously wants it m more over that side. I think you you want like you want just a L screen, right? Because you don't care if like the the lineman in front gets served. This is uh pretty bad from King Boo. So in the efforts of being constructive if you just got like two players here and two players here Okay, the Lino gets surfed, but he's a shithead Lino, right? And it it doesn't get it doesn't get Dant on forward at all. Whereas now Dan can blitz this guy and get two wolves like way forward. Like you just can't let him get wolves forward because he might score. <laughs> Is my analysis there? And I think getting a getting a uh, line rat cast is a price I'm willing to pay. I mean, if he had a strength for witch elf, you know, you probably don't want to expose a strength for witch elf there. But um, you can safely get your uh, get your scumbag line or surfed. Hello, faulty. The legend fault falls. can put like this this guy here and surf him as well as currently so he's still getting the surf anyway he's, he's still getting the surf that could have stopped all of the all of this penet so he could have stopped all of this penetration and he would have still and he would have actually had a worse player served I don't know why the dirty player is in does he not have any any crap line in? yeah so that should be in that line hmm. Tempting to go for the ball here, isn't it? But he's only got one turn, so he can't get the counter score. A little bit sad that he can't get the counter score. And obviously the GFIs look worse in the blizzard. Otherwise, like this guy, he'd just be straight, straight up, wouldn't he? Can he reach? Can't click on anybody. <laughs> Fucking game. There we go. Yeah, so he's out of range anyway. In a game of Blood Bowl, you want to stop penetration. 
<laughs> well, uh, in a t when your opponent's attempting a two turn, sometimes penetration's okay, but in this situation, not. <laughs> We had a re-roll, so he could he could have uh, he could have geified there and based him. I guess you blitz with the wolf, right? And then you can punch, punch, and then dodge. That's probably the way to do it. The wolf himself blitzes. So you've got to catch on a four plus. I think that's correct, so I do. Okay, the chain, yeah, the chain was actually pretty good, right? Yeah, okay. Was was the chain good? Yeah, because then the chain, no, the chain didn't do anything. No, it wasn't it wasn't very good. No, he didn't have a reroll. Well, probably still should have been the three plus anyway, just to get Darren in the way. And he just rolled all the dice. Well, there you go. That was pretty quick, wasn't it? Um, but he did fall free. And just dodged through. It was only a 4-3, so it wasn't that bad, actually. 4 plus, 3 plus, 4-3. I thought he had to, like... Um, I thought he'd have had to do a GFI as well. But I still think catching with the, like catching on a four and then blitzing with the wolf is better, right? Catch with it, because then if you, if you like, if you push and then pow, then it's just a dodge and you've got dodge for it. So I'm pretty sure. And then you save a three plus, so yeah, I'm, I'm sure that was better. But, um, yeah, good. So yeah, yeah, you know, King Boo could have stopped that. Could have stopped that touchdown um, had he, uh, you know, just like L screened the previous turn. Okay, the blizzard's over. Yeah, just give it the sure runs, guy. Sure runs. Yep, yep, all done, yep. Uh, you know, a four turn offense. You know, it's not, again, it's not super easy, right? Versus the stand firms and the wolves chasing you. Like, it's not so easy versus necros, but, um. Ooh! Early reroll burn. Couldn't eat it either, really, because of that guy not going first. I don't know, Don. I don't know because, like, you know, you've got the whole team as well, right? Like, you know, it's pretty bad. I, I don't know. I think this is I, honestly. I think this is the worst racial matchup for rats. And I don't think it's uh, super easy at all. But um, but I mean, I would have still tried. So a few removals now, and it looks like uh, King Boo is just basically not going to defend and try to draw 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Flip me, guys. Full Elliot strats, glorious. I mean, yeah, the Tato player is particularly bad, right? That was particularly bad. They're just going full Tate always. <laughs> it was very bad. Ooh. 
sometimes you do have to tear it off. How are you doing, by the way, Faulty? Faulty. I was just saying I'm a little bit... A little bit optimistic. Yep, you'll be waiting a while, uh, Faulty. Um, do you remember that Marvel movie? There was a Marvel movie that indicates how long you'll be waiting for that. Yeah. <laughs> Guitar World Cup is a, is a good name, yeah. I don't want to though, Fault Force. Calling me a cretin isn't going to make me want to do something. <laughs> Pretty thrilling, yep. Blitz and run away. I wish I'd played like this in my week 9 match, I tell you. I tell you. Wish I'd. Look, he's got his three best players. Screened by all of his chaff. If only I had done that. If only. You know, I'm not. I'm not bitter and twisted at all, of course. I don't have better Twitch TV fully. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> you cretin. Nice little foul here. Sunny. He's got the Mr. Page formation of three guys in the line as well. That's pretty good. Oh, I don't. I don't have that fault force. It does, doesn't it, Volk? Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing that an eight-year-old game looks better than the current game. It's crazy, isn't it? It really is. It's mind-boggling. Even zoomed in, they're not, they don't look bad either. Nah, I, I don't fall for it. You're trying to gaslight me, I'm not going to stand for it. I know I don't have BTTV. Unrelated to the fact that I don't have BTTV. Um, isn't it funny, the pussy cage? The pussy cage was really funny. I remember that. <laughs> the, th the funny thing is that, like, Blood Bowl 2 was really, uh, it was really disappointing, right, going from Blood Bowl 1 where all you guys got, like, leveled up and, and got better, like, and it does suck, like, the team all looking the same. They look like a NAF team, even though they're, uh, even though they're like 2000 TV, aren't they? Like they're just the same as a rookie team. Like it's, it is pretty annoying. Like the the automatic uh, model advancement of Blood Bowl One was really great. Yeah, hat based progression on Chorfs. That's honestly that was the main reason I used Chorfs in OFL, not because they were the best team, which they were, but also because. <laughs> I could tell, I could tell by the hats how good my players were. <laughs> and uh, funnily enough, as well on the ladder, on the Blood Bowl One ladder, I used Lizard Men, not just because they were the best, which they were, but <laughs> because I could actually tell the difference between a Croxagore 
a Saurus and a Skink. So, you know, perfect. Oh, why didn't I play like this in my game? Fuck me. FML. As Calcium would say. Danton's made a few removals. Is he going to try and go for the win? Potential win? Who knows? Sergeant Quacker. I knew somebody called Quacker. <laughs> No, we're a kid. Yeah, that never mattered to me. Fault force the full dice window, but I guess it did for it did for new players. It's, I'm not sure they've got anybody speaking up for new players in the VIP system. But um, there you go. Oh. The best way to win, go for a win versus rats, is go for one in thirty-six uh, handoffs that always fail. I had four hours sleep to last night and didn't have a nap. And I'm already beginning to crash, so in two hours' time, I've got a feeling I'm going to be very, very, very tired. The K Fogs game. Hopefully, someone will join in comments. Le big match. Steal that content. Yep. He's getting a hit on the good players. Don't know why he exposed him. And he scores. Flip me. Just got to score a three turn touchdown. Or they could score a one turn. <laughs> and then <laughs> hope that Danton fails. Or if he does succeed, they can just score another one turn anyway. So I guess it'll just one turn. Yep, I guess one turning here is the play. Actually, the play now. Pretty good having the wrestle guy to do it, isn't it? I mean, he has to do the GFIs. There's no like versus orcs or whatever. You could you could just get so far behind them that you can stall easily, can't you? 
sometimes or dwarves but uh versus wolves you've gotta you've gotta bang it in so now danton you know if he goes for the two turn score here um king boo could turn him over right potentially that's what I should have done versus uh, Sick, by the way, looking back at it. I stalled till turn seven, which is the worst thing you can do, right? Much better if I'd gone in on turn six. And then uh, I might have got a defensive score. So, And as the, as the, it happened, <laughs> you know, if he had gone for the same kind of strat that he did, then I would have done that. But, you know, maybe if he had three turns, he would have picked up on the strength four or whatever, but... If he had played similarly to what he did, I mean, he would have definitely got conceded on. End the turn, for fuck's sake! End the fucking Look quick turn, snap. man! Hon, hon, hon. Error BB keeping, keeping Blood Bowl 2 alive. Uh, you know. It actually is, isn't it? It actually is. <laughs> Certainly more than Rebel ever did. 4-4 <laughs> four draws are collusion. Right? Yep. And this is a replay of Faulty, so this is actually much faster than if they were playing. <laughs> Oh, big Chi Chi, hello, sport wearer. In range, in case the pick of the ball scattered out. I don't know, I wasn't watching. <laughs> yeah, much faster than the Dan Dun game, yeah. But, uh, you know, I think, like, Blood Bowl 2 replays are slow enough, right? Whereas Blood Bowl, Blood Bowl 3 replays are just crazy fast, aren't I? BB3 replays are so fast that I don't want to do any, uh, I don't want to do any replays because they're just, they're just too fast. Yeah, I'm surprised he's only got one wolf up, right? Like, I really... Really would have preferred to see this wolf up. Uh, especially as, like, this white didn't go here or anything, right? Like, if this white had gone here to screen the front of the cage, it seems really weird to have this wolf on the back corner. And, like, you know, even this guy, like, just have a full X cage. It's just such a waste having a, having a wolf. Oh, he's got two turns. No, he's only got one more turn. Yeah, so it's really weird to not have another wolf up. Do I, do I not like that? And now this is almost no defense at all, isn't it? Wow. Not good. Nah, it's definitely too fast for me. Oh, oh, so now do you blitz here? Wow. Okay, this is. I like this. This is. Uh, oh my god, fucking dice. I actually like that, right? Because it is a scoring threat. It is a scoring threat. And uh, you can just dodge through here anyway. And you've got dodge. And obviously he might score with a one turn, even if you score. So I really like that bit, actually. Really nice bit. I would have probably just done, like, you know, the safe play and surf this guy and scored. Um, or blitz that guy or whatever. But actually, okay, the one day I don't like. The one day is, is crap. So the problem with the one day there is you've got to do the handoff first, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then handoff. And if you've used your team reroll on the handoff... Then you just dodge, right? You can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and just just go with the dodge. And you, so you've still got the reroll for the dodge. Whereas if he'd uh, if he'd scold on this one, then he hasn't got the reroll for the handoff. So yeah, do the handoff first to see if your team reroll is gone or not. And if you still got your reroll, then the block is better. But if you haven't got the reroll, then uh, you just rely on dodge. Thank you. 
He's got the reroll. So that would have made the block correct then. There hasn't been much defense. I mean, you can't really defend versus a natty, can you? Uh, to be fair. <laughs> and then the one time he got the chance to defend, he won in nine. Um, so now it's just another, another one turn. <laughs> Danton, he's got this guy to 52, and this guy to 27, so pretty nice, pretty nice getting a level on the side stuff of that. High kick, makes it that much easier. Probably should have been the edge file, I know his movement ate the edge file. He, does he need to pass anyway? No, it doesn't matter. Anyway. Movement 9. Could, um... Could blitz for a chit. Oh! Alright, so with the reroll gone, with the reroll gone, you have to. Um, you don't have to. But I quite like blitzing this guy to, like, uh, get, you know, another hit. And at least chain him one forward, right? Rolls a one on the GFI. Dice it. And Blood Bowl 3, he could re-roll that GFI. But, and look at that. Danton rolls the MVP on the 27 SPP Wolf. And I can exclusively reveal, because I saw his roster after it, one Wolf got Mighty Blow and the other Wolf got Plus Agility. So his team went from pretty decent with decent Wolves into fantastic with fantastic wolves so yeah that was a an amazing swing for danton um not only did he his team his team vastly improved with that game and also his rivals team com was completely destroyed so a great week for danton and uh congrats to him commiserations to king boo thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic